Over the last six months, I've been completely obsessed with combat sports, and it all started with the sweet science of boxing. In that six months, I've been training a variety of martial arts. I trained jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, but at the center of it all has always been boxing, and that's what introduced me to this world as a whole. Like a lot of people, I've wanted to get into martial arts for a pretty long time now. I was always fascinated with fights, and it was always something that I thought I would eventually do someday, but I never really had the courage to actually step into a gym and start really training for myself. But this past summer, I decided, you know what, enough is enough. I'm gonna go with my dad to the boxing gym. I finally did, and ever since then, I have been absolutely in love with it. So in this video, I want to talk about what I've learned about boxing in that time, what boxing has taught me about myself, and also a couple of misconceptions I had about boxing going into my training so that you can start a little bit ahead of where I started. So first of all, what have I learned about boxing? The biggest thing I've learned about boxing is that it's not just two people swinging punches at each other and hoping something connects. It's a game of distance and a game of technique. Now, to those of you who have boxed for a long time, that's going to be probably the most obvious statement in the world. But for the longest time when I'd watch boxing, I didn't really know what to look at and all I would notice was the big moments when people punch each other. But as you start to train and as you start to really hone in on footwork specifically and distance and you know managing where your punches can be thrown from, you start to realize all these little games within the game of boxing. And this is also true in sports like MMA and kickboxing, but boxing has such a precise footwork and such a almost exact science to the footwork that is so beautiful once you start to see it. I, I mean that seriously. It's so cool to see people be able to manage their feet and distance so perfectly. And what you start to realize is boxing isn't about who can throw the knockout punch because the knockout punch doesn't matter if you can't set it up properly. And so for the longest time, I thought boxing was kind of just this grudge match and fighting was all about just who could hit the hardest. But as you start to realize, boxing is very, very technical. It's a sport that requires not only a lot of hard physical training, but also a lot of thinking into how your setups are going to work and how your game plan is actually going to play out in both sparring or a real fight. And the second thing I learned about boxing is that it's a very difficult sport. Now, I touched on a very similar point in my jiu-jitsu video, but long story short is that boxing is a sport that's going to make you want to quit a couple times. In jiu-jitsu, often you feel very demoralized, but there's almost always a little bit of silver lining. Now, what I mean by that is, let's just say you're a white belt like me, rolling with a blue belt. Sometimes I will get submitted five times in a round, but I have little wins I can look back on. I can say, well, you know, last week when I rolled with that guy, he submitted me six times. This time I had a little bit better defense. I got on his back for a second, whatever the case may be. You can find these little bits of silver lining because the sport's a little bit more slow. And what that allows you to do is appreciate the little moment. But I'm not going to lie, in boxing, it's a lot harder to have that mentality because when you go into sparring and it feels like you're getting peppered, there's almost no silver lining, at least that you can think of in the moment. The first couple times I sparred, I did okay because I was sparring a guy who's a lot smaller than me, but at a certain point, I remember I kind of got clocked in the face a couple times, and I'm like, what the hell, why am I doing this, what is going on? There was no thought of, well, at least I caught him with a couple jabs and a two earlier, it was just, I was completely down on myself, I felt like I was doing horrible because I definitely lost the round, and it felt like all of the technique I've been working on literally had gone out the window the second the round started and but even though i was able to do a couple good things and learn a lot it's very easy especially in a striking martial art to get very down on the negatives because it can feel very very defeating and i almost guarantee you it will feel very defeating at times especially if you're in the kind of range i'm in with training if you're in the one to six months to a couple years of training at least so i've heard it feels defeating and you have to be able to kind of embrace that like jiu-jitsu, like any other martial art or else you're not going to laugh in the sport very long. But with that being said, what has boxing taught me about myself and more importantly, what could boxing teach you about yourself? Firstly, I think boxing teaches us that we are able to endure hardship. Now, often in daily life, we have little bits of hardship, but it's hard to see our own resilience. And what I mean by that is, let's just say you do a good job at handling an emotional situation. Those things are so abstract and intangible that it doesn't really feel like you did a good job ever. And it feels like sometimes you don't understand that you're actually much stronger than you are. But when you go into a boxing gym and you get beat up and you show up the next day, that does start to build a belief in your head that you are someone who can push past pain, you're someone who can endure, and you're someone who can look hardship in the face and say, you know what, I am a courageous person. And so I think that just building up that little bit of evidence that I'm just going to keep coming even if I'm not going to be the best person in here, even if I am the worst in the gym right now, because at times I guarantee you will be. That is a very, very helpful thing, and you can pivot that to pretty much every area of your life. The second big, big thing boxing taught me about myself is that typically I lose because I quit, not because I can't. Often I'd watch fighting before I ever trained, and I would be like, why is this guy not trying that hard anymore? 
why can't he just push past you know this this limit why is he stop not throwing punches anymore and i have these kind of questions in my head and sometimes it's exhaustion but a lot of the times what you see people do is they stop believing in themselves at some point in a fight and for me that was a big thing i struggled with this past summer i stopped posting on this youtube channel completely and the reason i stopped posting on the channel was because i thought i was living so disingenuously i did not believe in myself and i honestly just thought that i was kind of a fraud i'm like i don't i don't need a channel i'm done with youtube i felt very down on myself that inability to believe in myself has been something that boxing has directly showed me not to do because even if you're fighting someone who you probably can't beat there is no situation where thinking that you can't beat that person and not believing that you have some ability is going to be beneficial. You kind of have to have this level of ego that says, I think I can be good at this and I'm going to work every day to prove that. Because if you have this ego that says, I'm too good for this, then you're absolutely never going to get better at boxing. But if you have this sort of positive ego that says, no, I'm going to be good at this, watch me work really hard. I do believe that's something that's so beneficial, especially in a combat sport where you need to be fully invested and fully believe in yourself. And again, it doesn't just apply to sparring or being in a fight because there are so many times in my day now where I'm like, I don't even know if I should film this video or I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know if this exam is going to go well in school, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, wait a sec, I have proven to myself that I can operate in the face of adversity, that I can overcome situations even when I didn't believe in myself at the moment. Again, just showing up day in and day out establishes this little bit of proof that you are actually a type of person that can do these things. And I do believe that's another invaluable thing that boxing has taught me about myself. And I absolutely think boxing will teach you that same lesson. But on a much more lighthearted note, here are a couple of the misconceptions I had before starting actually training boxing. So the first one is that being punched in the face really is not that bad. Now, the first time I sparred was the first time I ever really got punched in the face. I've never been in a street fight. I've never fought anybody seriously. I might have been like jokingly punched by one of my brothers, but that's the full extent of it. The first time I sparred and I remember getting hit in the face, I was like, wow, that really sucks. But also, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. You know, you kind of wake up a little bit more. Your initial reaction is definitely to get angry, but it really isn't that painful. Um, it is painful, but it's not, it's really not the end of the world. I think that I had this misconception that like I'd get punched in the face once and I'd be like finished for some reason. And that is absolutely not the case. And I think a lot of people have that kind of like fear of being punched in the face. It's really not that bad. The other big misconception is that boxers are angry or mean. Being in fighting gyms is one of the most friendly environments you'll ever be in. It's also one of the most respectful environments. As humans, we're actually pretty bad at like inherently boxing because when you want to throw a hard punch, people kind of throw from the hip. They don't hold their hands up. If you get scared, you turn your head towards somebody. And all of these things are horrible habits in boxing. And the reason I say that is because very few people are instinctually or normally naturally good at boxing. And so in these gyms, people are often the most friendly people you'll ever meet. Even though they kind of have rough exteriors, if you're working really hard, people do respect that more than anything. And I think that even though it can be very nerve wracking to step in a gym, I promise you that for the most part, there are a lot of nice boxers out there. These gyms are very welcoming and it can feel like a very, very tight knit community once you become part of it. So for that reason, I definitely highly encourage that if you're one of those people nervous to go into the gym, you absolutely take the next step and go into the gym. And the third misconception, pretty similar to the second, is that no one really cares that you suck at first. I'm certainly not the best boxer in the world and often I go into the gym and I'm probably the worst one in there. But what you start to realize is that there's always going to be that person and again the community is very uplifting everybody knows what it's like to be in that position everybody understands that you need to go through that kind of fire to come out the other side as a much better boxer or a good boxer at all and so yeah there is a universal respect and understanding yeah i honestly just think that it's one of the most funny things looking back because i was petrified to go into the gym i was like you know what i don't know if this is for me i'd make excuses like man, when I go to college and I'm in a new state, and I had all these like weird things in my head, like I, I just didn't really want to start. But once you actually start going, people are welcoming. They really do respect hard work over everything else. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's so fun. Boxing is one of the most fun things you can do. It's one of the best ways to get in cardio if that's the goal of yours. If you want to just be in shape, boxing is great for that as well. Um, and yeah, you don't have to be in great shape to start. Anyone can start. You don't have to have any experience to start. Just go start. I hope that all of you guys go sign up at the local boxing gym. Nothing will make me happier, and I hope that, yeah, you guys enjoyed the video because that's all I got for you today. So with that being said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.